as we get ready for the Miami Boat Show coming next week, I thought I'd take you on one last quick tour in the 2023 Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, the 2023 Horizon PC-52 Power Cap. Permission to board. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Let's board the PC-52 using the expansive sugar scoop and up the three steps to a comfortable cockpit, table, and wet sink. From here, let's head up to the bow along the starboard side. The handrails are high, sturdy, and strong. You can really see that they shoehorn the boats in at the boat show. In order to maximize the interior space, the bow area is fairly limited. The windlass and anchor are hidden while the foot controls are surface mounted. A couple of hatches allow for letting in natural light below. Still a comfortable space for throwing out a couple bean bags and enjoying a sundowner or two. Heading back to the cockpit along the port side, I'm really interested to see what the interior has to offer. One enters the salon through a large, heavy-duty sliding door, which is tinted to keep the insides cool. Once inside, you're greeted by a clean, modern interior. The galley is set up to starboard. Stepping past the full-size fridge with dual freezer drawers and bright white waterfall countertops, the galley also includes a dishwasher, large double basin sink, electric cooktop, plenty of storage, and great sight lines throughout the salon so that the food prepper will always be part of the conversation. Now, let's check out the accommodations in the porthole. Turning aft at the bottom of the steps, we find the washer and dryer, followed by a twin berth featuring two single beds which cannot be slid together. Moving forward, we pass through the shared head, which is shared with the VIP berth. The head features a long single sink vanity, toilet, and a large glass enclosed shower. Continuing forward, we find the VIP berth, featuring a large raised queen bed, dual nightstands and sconces, and plenty of storage along the hull. A nice feature is that each porthole berth features its own entry. So heading up the VIP steps and crossing to the owner's starboard hull, notice the beautiful adjustable table which can lower to expand the seating area into an additional lounging or sleeping area. Taking a few steps down, we find the head to aft featuring a toilet, lots of storage, separate walk-in shower stall, and a single sink vanity. Heading forward, we pass the large hanging lockers to port and cabinets to the starboard before entering the large, well-appointed primary with raised bed with walk-around access, TV, and again, plenty of storage. But enough of the interior, let's head outside and to the upper deck, or second floor, or flybridge. What do you call it? The steps are wide and comfortable. At the top, I head into the fully enclosed and conditioned flybridge. The flybridge includes plenty of seating, helm station, wet bar, and overall, just plenty of space to relax and entertain. Outside, you'll find plenty of space to expand your entertaining area, freezer, and a crane to hoist your dinghy. It's a very flexible space.
Heading back down, you'll also find a fish cleaning station on the port side sugar scoop. Overall, I found the Horizon PC-52 to be a very comfortable and manageable cat for a couple who would like to occasionally invite some friends aboard. Well done. Coming up, we'll be bringing you more tours from the Miami and Palm Beach boat shows. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. It really helps us out with YouTube. See you next time.